Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man, bringing to you some NBA 2K24. So I know a lot of people that are coming back to playing 2K that haven't played 2K in years. And I'm talking about personally, most of my friends are coming back. Yo, D, if you were a beginner in a sense, or needed a basic kind of do it all build on 2K24, what would you make? And I was like, damn, that's a good question and a good video. So I'm going to make that in this video, a basic beginner build for people that are just now starting my career playing online and just want to get into the midst a little bit. By the way, this is just my opinion. Once again, I say this every video, it's just a template. I'm not trying to force you to make this build, just trying to help you out a little bit. In the comments below, let me know what build you would make if somebody asked you the same question. So on NBA 2K24, a lot of builds got nerfed from NBA 2K23. If you're six, seven and up, uh, they took away a lot of options. If you still wanna be a six, four and under point guard, you can still get really versatile on 2K24. They pretty much left that the same. So when it comes to balance, I would say six, five and six, six are definitely the bills to have. Now I'm gonna go six, six in this video. It really depends on what you want to do. Keep in mind that height, weight and wingspan adjust all your max potential attributes and badges and so we're going to keep it at 211 and we're going to go in the middle with wingspan because if your wingspan is too short you'll be able to shoot better but your defense takes a hit if it's too long um your shooting takes a hit but you'll be able to play better defense so for the sake of balance we're going to go about six nine and just leave it at that so let's go ahead and jump in the builder and i'll let you know what i would do if i was just not playing this game first off let me go ahead and clear all this being in the midst a little bit. All right, so first off, I will go to drive and dunk. And of course, I don't recommend 99 drive and dunk or high drive and dunk to people that are just now playing 2K because if you're not meter dunking, it becomes pointless. So what I would do is go about 84 drive and dunk. That's gonna get you some good dunk animations. I mean, like the LeBron James one is really good and that's really the one I'm focused on, right? So we're gonna go 84 drive and dunk and then get your vertical to at least 64 for the LeBron James dunk package. But we're going to go about 70 just to probably get some more. You know what I mean? It's up to you really. Okay, so when it comes to the driving layup, once again, I don't want you to rely solely on dunking when driving to the lane. Once you learn how to do the Euro steps and the hot steps and stuff, the layup is a good option to use. So we're going to actually have this pretty high. We're going to put it at about 84 also. Therefore, we get some of these badges, gold and silver. Um, we might go even higher because we definitely want Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. You get that floater in your bag, some of these moves in your bag, you will become really deadly. So let's get Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. Giant Slayer is a really good badge, especially since there are seven footers all over the court this year. So this badge will activate a lot. So let's go to shooting. Shooting is really up to you. It's going to be tough no matter what you do. You know, so I recommend a 90, see how that feels. You'll get a good amount of gold badges. That's if you're brand new to the game. If you're coming back to 2K after not playing for a few years, uh, you can get your three point shot to like an 85 and still cash out. You can still make it look like a 90. So overall, I definitely recommend 85, but if you're a beginner beginner, try going 90. When it comes to the mid range shot, the mid range is OP in NBA 2K24. So I recommend having a decent mid range shot so you get some of these badges. I mean, gold blinders, um, silver dead eye, gold catch and shoot, gold green machine, gold space creator, gold midi magician, gold open looks. I mean, you just get a gang of shooting badges. And honestly, no matter who you play with, you're going to be shooting a lot if your PG passes to you. And you wanna make sure you're not down those shots because if you don't, <laughs> you miss those first two shots, man. They're gonna freeze you out for the rest of the game. So, so yeah, find a good jump shot, get your shot readiness up and practice shooting, if anything. So when it comes to ball handle, if you're a beginner on 2K, I wouldn't recommend just going at 90 something ball handle, right? Even if you get the top six, you're not going to know how to really use them in the first place. There's people that spend playing 2K for years and they still don't know how to use the top six. It's me, I'm people, all right? So I'm gonna recommend like an 85 ball handle that can get you some good six. You can even go lower like an 82 if you want and put those points somewhere else. You feel me? When it comes to speed with ball, you don't need to have this up too high unless you're a PG. Since we're six six, here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to go speed with ball at 75. I think 75 is a good spot to be at. 
and we're going to get your pass accuracy up a little bit, man. Don't be out there throwing floaty passes. That's no good for a beginner. You feel me? So we're going to get you some badges and have your pass accuracy at 77. Once again, it's just a template when it comes to the playmaking. So if you want to have it higher, just readjust it. If you want to have it lower, you're good. So now we're going to skip down to the physicals because the physicals are really important. I think 80 and 80 for speed and acceleration is a decent place to be at. When it comes to stamina, I usually go 90, but 93, like 93 is going to get you silver handles for days. So you might as well. Maybe you start getting better at the game. You start dribbling a little bit more. People start trusting you a little bit more and you can utilize handle for days. Now, this is the tough part, the defense. I feel like you have to pick and choose right here. So let's say you're a beginner and you want to be a guard. It's going to be tough, right? Now, if you're a beginner and you want to be a big, I'll make a video on that too. You want to have pretty much most of this stuff. But if you're sit sits, you want to do it all. You want to get some highlights, ankle breakers, dunks. You, you're going to have to sacrifice somewhere. And most of the time the sacrificing comes in defense. So here's what we're going to do, fam. We're going to play with this, go back and forth a lot. So we're going to start with steel, see where that gets us because steel is definitely important in this game. I have steel on my build and I love it. We are also going to have perimeter defense because if anything, when you're playing solo rec, solo park, playing with randoms in general, um, offensively, it's going to be, it's going to be hell, right? But as long as you play defense, you'll be able to get yours. And once again, I'm thinking of more so rec than park for this build, but you know, it all depends on what you play. So we're gonna bump this deal up to 85 to get silver glove, silver interceptor, and silver right stick ripper. I do like glove at the park. When I played the park, bro, I was pressing square once with silver glove and just peeling people. Granted, people don't have unpluckable just yet. I think silver glove is a great place to start. Also, we're gonna get that block up to 68 to get chase down artists on bronze. I'm already jealous of this build. I wish I was able to get block on my build. Um, but yeah, you wanna have some chase down on your build for sure. When it comes to perimeter defense, we're gonna leave that around 76 and just kind of cook up from here. You're at 97 out of 99. You can do a lot of things with this. Um, if you wanna get your perimeter up higher, you can do that. If you wanna go speed with ball or even ball handle, you can definitely do that. You know what I mean? Just play around with these leftover points and see how you really want to play and what you really want to do. You can add it to speed and acceleration. Um, somebody like me, I would get my mid range up, start spamming the mid. I ain't gonna lie, I might make this build because I want a high mid range build. It probably doesn't need to be at a 90, but yo, you can get that mid range up high. You can increase your three pointer. If you think you want to dunk a little bit more, you can put that driving dunk on 86 and then go down to vertical increase that now you have posterizer on silver and aerial wizard on gold you have a lot of options here so that's why i like the sit sits build really sit sits and under you can get really versatile but if you're just a beginner i don't recommend playing point guard because people people are crazy on 2k you know what i mean but sit sits it's that perfect height where you can bring the ball up if you want to. You can play defense. You can be a spot up. You can be a slasher. You can do whatever you want with this build. And so that's why I think it's perfect for beginners. In my honest opinion, once again, I'm thinking more so fives, right? But if you have to play threes at the park, you can get by with this too. Um, you're just going to need a bid to get some rebounds for you. So just be careful with that. But we really kicked up, man. We got the 81 perimeter. 85 steel, 85 three, 84 mid, 85 ball handle, good physicals, good finishing. I like this build, man. The six six builds are pretty tough on 2K24. So we get shades of, man, we got a legend here, man. Doug Christie, Mikael Bridges, Anthony Simons. You see it, bro. We got an offensive powerhouse, a defensive powerhouse. Well, Mikael Bridges is like a two-way. And Doug Christie, you know, he did everything too, man. So I think this is a really balanced build for people that are just now starting off on NBA 2K24. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Should I remix this build and take it out to the wreck and part? Because it's not that bad. The three-level threat is the way to go to me. So I hope this video was able to help you all out. You all be easy. Take care. Let me know how you're rocking with 2K24 so far. Let me know what builds you made in the comments below. Peace.